Good morning, everyone. Got a busy day ahead of us today. There's going to be some spraying, there's going to be some fertilizer happening, and there's going to be some tilling, and there might be some corn planting, but we'll just have to wait and see. The forecast was calling for rain this evening. Now it's been bumped closer to 4 o'clock, so um, I don't know how much of that we're going to get done. Uh, in all honesty, the corn planting is probably the last thing that's going to get done. Um, first, we're going to start off taking this load of fertilizer over there and dumping it so that Dad can apply it at some point. And I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. Um, I don't know. Fun fact for you, one day George was driving this truck to go get a load of fertilizer. Said he was barreling down the highway, had the crew set on 70. Darn mouse ran across his foot. Now George isn't scared of mice, but that'd make anybody start a little bit, I do believe. If it had been a snake on the other hand, he probably would have stopped the truck, got out, lit it on fire, and went on about his business. I can't blame him. Sure doesn't look like the field you were going to go spray. Nope. Water pump. Yeah, looks like plans have changed already for the day. Well, Dad had his truck loaded to uh, spray today, but uh, as you can see, the sprayers broke down, but we still got a load of chemicals. This is a generic 2,4-D, isn't it? Now, Dad's going to spread that load of uh, fertilizer, and then I. I'm guessing since his sprayer is broke down, that he's probably going to try to plant after that. Alright, I completely forgot to uh, fill up the tractor with government juice last night, so gotta do that, and uh, then we'll get in the field. Got to do some road travel and got a few places we're going to try to hit. Like I said, we've got some farms that probably just aren't going to get done today or this year. They're just too wet. Uh, they're too wet to even go in to try to dry out right now. So we'll just have to see. Heading on down the road, uh, we've got probably a 20 minute commute. Whew, that was close. The semi didn't get over at all. That's the neighbor spray them burned down. They have a uh, big John Deere sprayer, but it looks like they also have an old uh, interrogator with a liquid tank on the back of it for, uh, I guess they just use it for spray and burn down a little bit less compaction. Yeah, lunch time again, and we're going with tuna again. It's definitely not a burger. I figure I film George eating every day, so. He's not here, so I guess I gotta film me. field we're doing is right here beside our grain bins. We've already done this field. In fact, this is the field that I did a live stream from. Um, we've decided to go corn after corn here, so we're going to go over it with the Turbo Max just one more time, kind of chop up that residue, maybe help alleviate some disease pressure by doing that. Um, it's kind of a last minute change, so you know, so go over it one more time. You guys will see why we changed in about a week. All right. Um, I'm going to go help Dad get started planting corn, I guess. So hot dang. Looks like we're going to have some corn in the ground. Um, he's coming to pick me up now. And I think he's still got to put some seed in, but uh, I'm going to just bring a truck up here. That way I can drive over there and help him get his uh, planter set. Get some stuff going. All right, change of plans. Uh, went to go get the little people back there. And uh, Dad called me. I was coming over here to help him get his planter set, and they got the, his sprayer done already. So I guess we're going to get it. I'm not sure if he's going to go spray or go plant corn. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute. All right, Dad's filling up his planter now with the first batch, and uh, once he gets that filled up, we'll head up the road. And keep going back and forth. All right, we are finally heading to the field. The first field we're going to plant is, uh, it's one of our sandier fields. In fact, there's a gravel pit right beside it. So we are heading there first. It's about a mile up the road. Um, got his planter filled up. Found a, found we had some baling twine wrapped around a row cleaner, so we took that apart. Took a little longer than we expected, but hey, we're on the way. It isn't raining yet, so something's going to get in the ground. Okay, we're planting. 
All right, we planted a whopping quarter of an acre. Uh, we're just going to get out and uh, dig a little bit, make sure everything's coming out, and I think we're going to adjust the planting depth. And uh, first day is always filled with stuff like this. Heck, it took us 25 minutes to figure out how to get his monitor to work, but we're getting there. guys it's q a time for brian's farming videos and on today's vlog the question that we're going to be answering is brian when are you guys going to start planting corn the answer to that question is april 23rd at 4 30. all right with these new openers we're still planting too deep so we're going to raise it up a little bit Right now we're a little over two inches, which is not too much. We're gonna raise it up another half a hole. We've got to adjust a couple closing wheels. You need those in the middle of the seed trench. And those ones are overlapping a little bit, and uh, that's not good. That'll uh, make it hard for that kernel to come up with the rest of the kernels. And you want an even germination, so we need to fix that. All right, he's going to get back to planting. I think he's pretty well ready to roll. Um, I'm going to go back to turbo till him and yeah, see what we can get done today. He does have a bob cam, so there will be more planting footage. Don't turn off the video just yet. On a more serious note on the Q&A, as soon as I posted an Instagram picture of the... Uh, of dad's planter in the field i got asked why do we have two corn plant or two planters well it's simple we got one for corn one for beans um we're planting you know several acres of each so just helps us get done a lot quicker and more efficiently time is money weather update a brief rain shower will begin at 5 15. it's 5 10. it just seems pretty fitting that it'd be trying to rain on the first hour that we tried to start planting corn especially with the last year we've had Right, good omen, right? Okay, we're just getting started planting here. I think we got everything that's working all the day on monitors, as you can see. Pain in the butt. When they work, it's okay. Getting them working takes a while. Yeah, it looks like now it's gonna rain. It's drops, looks like a little show coffee. It's pouring down, looks like up in the hills. So far, so good. We're running uh, the headlands from uh, lines from last year or two years ago. We got the lines in here and this is RTK, so they will uh, stay in the tractor and that's what we're following. You can see we're at the edge. Hopefully we got them good enough for the year before. Sometimes I got too close too far. I guess we should sometime set all the new ones, but so far so good. This year we're we'll, gonna we'll go like we are. Run along about uh, five and a half mile an hour, 1500 RPM or more. We got it in the uh, engine management or whatever they call it. Just burnt this down a couple days ago, so it really hadn't killed it yet. It's working on it. Okay, we got that end's done. Get down this side, then we'll go to the straight line. This Trimble monitor, the first one I had in here, it does the steering also. Also runs the planter. It's got the section controls up here, it's automatic, down manual. When you get the end, if everything's calibrated right, which we got a calibrator, GPS shuts it off so it don't replant. Corn's already been planted. Here's the population, and there's the singulation. You go up here to the 2020, it's got the same thing up here, the singulation and the population. They're pretty, pretty close. The only thing I like about the big thing about the 
uh, for 2020 is it tells you quicker when it quits planting, the road plugs up or something. Or the triple, it seems like it takes a little longer. You can see down at the bottom, it pumps up and down. That's the population up and down. Middle is where you want it to. It scans each row. Now, I've always had a problem with row 17. It's always a little higher for some reason. I didn't, I've even had the units calibrate and everything, so I don't know if it's uh, something I can figure it's in the warring or the, uh, the cell that's in the uh, seat tube. This is the iPad. That's the climate view or field view. It does everything everything else is doing. Oh, it gives an instant, and we can see it uh, whenever we want to look at it. We can see it, and that's how we did our yield analysis. It'll uh, map off different varieties through there a lot better than what the others do, plus it's portable. We can take it out of the tractor and go to the field, wherever you want to go with it. up here where I couldn't figure out what happened. I wasn't planting a few rows. Well, if you end up half the planter, I hit the wrong button down here and knocked the uh, vacuum off. So now we'll go back through this. Of course, planting it. It'll shut off. There, it's shut off because it's already been planted. That's all the buzzers that go on. It'll turn back on. There's a little strip planting again. That's back off. We've already planted this. Now to come back on here in a second. There it's starting to plant again. That's the auto steer buzzer to get to the end. It'll buzz like that a couple times. A warning to come to the end. Turn. Right, that storm was just a little past by. Her. Uh, it's pretty well going now. Rain just enough to make sure the tractors both get really dirty. You, uh, other guys at farm, you ever have like moments that you just always will remember in a field? What I mean by that, sometimes I'll be driving through a field and it's just like, I don't know, like a moment of deja vu. I can remember what song I was listening to in this particular part of the field or what podcast or what uh, what the weather was doing. I don't know why, I just some fields are like that. In this field, I will always remember the last harvest, I was running the combine in this cornfield and I looked up and the grain cart hitch had broke. Off the, or the tractor hitch had broke and the grain cart was sitting in the dirt with the tractor about 10 yards on the other side of it. If you haven't seen it, I think it's harvest day nine. I'll, uh, I'll put the card in the video, but yeah, I'll always remember that when I'm in this field. Are you still running or did you get rained out? I'm still running, I'm still running. I'm about half done here. Okay, we finished that field up, now we're gonna go over this field. It's a mean stubble, it's gonna be a little bit harder. So I'm gonna put some air pressure in the airbags, planter, put some more downforce on it. Got the compressor running, got about enough there, looks like about uh, 40 pounds. We'll try that. Might get a little more than that. We gotta set all the monitors to the right fields. We'll be ready to roll then. Back to playing with fire. Uh, this field had uh, lots of stalks piled up. I mean, probably so many that we would have never been able to even burn all of just because they were so thick. And they're so widespread so dad bulldozed it but uh there's still pretty large piles out in the middle where i mean it just slipped off the blade stuff like that so i'm gonna burn them and they should burn up pretty nice hey guys i'm gonna let you in on a little known secret this is where all farmers store their power rate by far the best place to keep it while working okay we're making the first round here if we get around this pole here
hopefully we'll do this or anything more like this. We'll wait till we get it burnt down to it. We're going to plant this field. Then we'll probably uh, finish up the burn down. We've got our sprayer back. Finish up burn down. And see what the weather's going to do. Hopefully it's one of the worst fields to plant in. But it seems like it's going in the ground okay. Covered it. Just a little bit more green stuff on it than I would like to see. I guess that's our cover crop. We are definitely slipping. This is a wet spot last year, didn't even get planted. I'm pretty surprised that this year we're able to, uh, it's not, I'm pretty surprised that I have water in it right now. And uh, Brian told you I'll be planting here, just we filled up 50 units of uh, seed consultants, 1087, I think it's 110 day corn. It was uh, probably, I think our second best corn last year. Uh, hopefully it'll do good, it's even too good at uh, dry ground. This is kind of sandy ground. Over there farm it's just gravelly ground. What was that? Uh, that 60 foot planter just ain't even fair. Dad's just going to casually plant 110 acres starting at 4 35 o'clock. He can really cover the ground with that, uh, with that planter. All right, we're done with this field. I think we're going to take this thing back to the shed, put her up for the night, but first we better fold it before we hit a tree. That would probably be good. Maybe I better put the camera down. Dad, you still planting or are you getting done yet? All around after this one. Hey guys, that's it for tonight. If this weather will hold off, there'll be more planting, tilling, spraying, and spreading in the morning. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Views, Facebook at Brown Farms. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you tomorrow.